Hey everyone's Jackal Wolf back in MC Eternal with another five minutes. That's how I did it. Now, if you've been following along, you know that we are working our way through the quest book. Last episode, we did the uh, Armor Forge, uh, which allowed us to uh, craft this, you know, our, our lovely uh, chest plate that we've got going on here. Uh, we also did the Mending Moss uh, and the Silky Jewel, which finished off the uh, Tinker's Tools uh, quest line there. Uh, this episode, I've still got a little bit of a mob problem around my base. Uh, they are spawning outside of the area where the... Um, the little candle is sort of keeping them, uh, but they are wandering in. So I'm going to put up a, you know, proper wall around my base uh, and I'm going to need some sort of entry and exits to go into that. So this is a good opportunity uh, for us to look at the door factory uh, where we can create custom doors out of any block and combine any animation you want to create the perfect personalized door. And while we're at it, we're also going to take a look at the rusty hatch. Uh, these are both from the same mod pack, so it kind of makes sense to do them both at once. But to start, what we're going to have to do is build ourselves a door factory. Now this is very, very simple. Uh, it is simply an iron door, a piston, two redstone, and four iron ingots in a crafting table gets you a door factory. You do not need to power this, so that is perfect. We're just going to go throw this over here, and if we open it up, you can see we've got a bunch of different options here uh, for all of the different things we can do with this door. So uh, we'll spend a couple of minutes on it, and then we'll move on to the rusty hinge. Uh, but first off, we're going to pick a movement. We've got a whole bunch of different things to pick from down here, uh, like double rotating left. We've got rotating, sliding, spinning, vanishing, vortex. Vortex is kind of cool. Uh, let's just go and sliding on the side. I'm not too sure what that one is, so let's go pick that one. Opening time, you can make it a slower door by adding uh, to it, or you can make it a quicker door. Uh, six is the default. It's a pretty good uh, animation time uh, for you to look at that, so that is pretty good. Auto close door delay. So if you want to set it up so your uh, your door auto closes, let's say let's do another six. I'm pretty sure these are ticks, so. It's going to depend on how you want to use the door. There's a couple other options that's going to really make a big difference. Double door means that if you put a uh, door beside it, it's going to act like a double door. And it's got to be the exact same. Uh, I'll do a little bit of a demonstration a little bit later on that, but we'll leave that one checked because it doesn't make any sense not to check it. I can't think of any time that you would want to make a door that could only ever be by itself. Even if you only use the door by itself, you always want the possibility there. So uh, I would leave that one checked. Player detection. Now, if this is on, the door will automatically open uh, as soon as you come by it, which is really, really good. If you got your auto close on as well, then it will close as soon as you are, you know, a certain distance past that door as well. So that is really, really handy. I like this combination. Uh, it's probably the one I'm going to actually stick with, with, but we'll look at a couple of different ones as well. Redstone behavior. This is if you want to make some uh, very, very interesting combinations with your doors. So you got your standard, which is what a wooden door would be. Uh, redstone only, which is what a standard iron door would be. Redstone lock will allow you to actually lock the door with redstone signal. And then hand only means that, uh, you know, even if you put like a pressure plate or a redstone signal, uh, you can only open it with your hand. Uh, th these make sense if you're doing some sort of really nifty like maze type thing. Like, you could make some really interesting, cool stuff with, with this in that uh, thing as well. So that would be really, really cool. But I'm going to stick with standard for the most part because uh, these, again, only make sense if you're doing some really, really complicated uh, redstone or, you know, maze type stuff. So we'll leave that sound type. Again, you can pick whatever makes sense for what you're going to do. We've got like glass door, jail door, a silent uh, wooden trap door, the rusty door, which uh, we'll get to in a little bit. I won't do that sound because we'll save that one for when we actually do the rusty door. Big door. Uh, all of these are the different door sounds in here. Uh, let's go pick that jail door for this one. Now, before we go and create a door, we got to go pick some materials. So the tab right here underneath my uh, chicken's bill says materials. We'll go click over to that one. Here's where we can create one or we can actually go and modify an existing one. We'll do both of those here uh, shortly. But first off, we got to pick a frame type. So one thing to keep in mind, you can't use uh, broken down items. It's got to be full blocks of items. So if you want an iron door uh, with like a glass top and I don't know, let's throw that obsidian in there, uh, obsidian bottom, 
Um, this, these are the materials that it would. So the, the, this will be the frame. This will be the interior top uh, portion. And this will be the interior bottom portion. Now there's this all digit code over here. We'll get to that in a second, but for now, let's go and create that door. So there we go. There is our custom sliding door. Okay, there's my uh, uh, potato gun going off. Uh, so we'll place that there. It's automatic, so if I get in a certain amount of distance, it will open. If I get a certain distance away, it will close. See, that's what I like, because then you, you're not messing around with trap doors, or, or not trap doors, with uh, pressure plates or anything like that. As you come by, it opens up. That's cool. Now, that jail door is really annoying. I don't like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and take our axe. We're going to go break this door. Go back to our door factory and we're going to go in the materials. We're going to hit modify. We're going to take the door that we want. We're going to throw it up here and then we're going to go back to the properties and jail door. I don't like that. Let's do, let's do the show Soji door. We'll do the Soji door and sliding on the side. That was okay. Let's go and make it spin. I think that might be really, really cool. Um, I like the opening and closing. I'm going to leave that, but you can certainly turn it on or off if you want. And you know what? This is going to go into my, I would, let's say it's into some place that I don't want other players, you know, in. What we're going to do is we're going to create a code here. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. That is going to be the code to get into the door. Modify that door. We now have a, not a brand new one. We've got a modified door. We're going to go place it down. And there you go. As I get close, it opens. As I go back, it closes. Now I just put a code on there. This is not going to be any good because any player that comes up here, they're going to be able to, you know, walk in through that door and that defeats the purpose of having a code. So let's go. We'll go break it again. Actually, we'll use the axe is the door breaker. We'll come back over there. We'll stick on modify. We'll go back up to our properties. Actually, no, we got to throw the door in first back onto the properties and let's turn off that auto detect player. The yeah player detection is off. So now this will operate like a standard door. Hit that modified door, come back out. And if we go and place it as we approach it and go back, it doesn't open, but we right click on it. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. V completes it. There we go. Oh, now we got another problem that auto closes really, really, really quick. There's going to be really tough to get. Now you may want that. You absolutely might want that. Um, but you got to be quick. So, I mean, again, there's benefits and there's a down, uh, you know, things with that. Uh, let's go take this off. We're going to do and make our school, make ourselves a double door this time. Uh, cause I want to show off a couple things using that. So we're going to go back with the properties. Uh, let's keep the auto uh, player on. We'll keep the clothes on as well. Uh, let's go for the Soji door. Let's go. Oh, this is just the sound. We'll do the glass door for this one and the action, uh, sliding four ways. Let's see what that one does. That one sounds really, really cool. Go back over to the materials. We'll go over to the create frame type. Uh, let's throw a, no, I want something I got two of. So we'll do the cobblestone. Uh, actually let's, let's use this opportunity. Uh, we're going to go make ourselves a dirt door. If you want to hide something, uh, you know, here's a good opportunity to do that. And then we're going to go back over to our digit code. I don't want a code in there. It's not showing, but let's just hit clear to make sure there's nothing in uh, here for this code. So if we go and create door, that's good. We got one door. I want to do a double door. So we go create door again. There we go. We've got two sliding doors. And before I do anything else, let's go and sleep. There we go. So if we go and place the door there, you can see it, it kind of has got a little bit of a shape to it, but this is very easy to hide. Now you, if you're hiding something, you probably don't want that to be automatic. But, uh, to me, that is really, really good. Now, because I'm uh, so far away, it's not sensing me. It's automatically closing it. We could turn that on or off, but I like that. That is really, really cool. Now, if we go and break one of these doors and you know what? This Soji door, this was a door that we got. Um, oh, I think we were, I think it was a, a, a quest or something like that, that we did. Uh, this was a reward for that. So we can go, we can place the Soji door right next to it. 
See, it doesn't automatically pick up all those properties. So we got to manually, you know, open and close that door, uh, which is not a problem. It is a really, really good. But if we go and take that Soji door, now this has got no properties on it. This is just a basic Soji door. If we go to the modify and we'll throw the Soji door in there, we got to take these materials out. Uh, no, sorry, we're fine there. This should, we've got all the same settings as before. Uh, this should modify that and we will now have an automatic door just like the other one that we had over here. So keep in mind that it's not just doors that you create in the door factory. It is, you know, sort of the regular doors that you can craft in the world. So that is all well and good. That gets us uh, a uh, quest here. Uh, all we get out of it is 50 monies. Not huge rewards, but that's okay. Uh, we do still have the rusty hatch. Uh, so to do the rusty hatch, what we're going to have to do first is create ourselves a rusty handle. Uh, that is uh, four iron ingots in a crafting table and sort of the, you know, upside down T. Uh, I believe you can go and no, you can't do that recipe. It's got to be the upside down short or the regular short T there that gets you a rusty handle and then we come over here we'll place the rusty handle in a crafting table with three iron ingots that gets you a rusty hatch now this one is a little bit more complicated uh, it is not something we can go and put into our door factory uh, and placing it is a little bit awkward because it sounds like you're placing stuff but not always, right? So this door is very, very unique. It's basically a two by two trap door. That's probably the best way of thinking about it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down into my little mining area and I'm gonna just go and set up a little bit of a spot here. Okay guys, so this is a good little spot here. Uh, it, it doesn't really lead anywhere, but it's, it's got a two by two opening. If I go and place that right there, nothing's happening. I can place it up top. That is good. That's going to work, but it's not really where we want. We want that down below. So what's interfering here is these blocks right there. And you see, as I broke them, it's made this uh, more whole, but we're going to go take that and we're going to go and place that against the bottom, against the bottom there. It doesn't look like it's properly done. It doesn't have any edges around the edge, and that's because it's not properly set up yet. So we can open this up, and if we go and break the bottom there, there you go. It's now sensed uh, that there's enough space there. We can actually start doing stuff. It's filled in the edges, and we can close it. Once it's done there, we can go, we can stand on it. We can jump on it. If we open it up, there it goes. It's now a little passage down below. We can go. It comes with these four ladders. You can make more ladders to do a deeper tunnel if you want. Uh, but they work, you know, just like regular ladders. Uh, they are really, really good. Uh, and then from down below, we can close it. We try to get up. Oh, sorry. Uh, I was, it was still closed. As soon as, like, if we go up, we can't get through. But as soon as you right click it, even before the animation's done, you can get through it. So, it's not, I mean, it's good, but it, it, that's kind of kind of like a little, I don't know, I call that a little bit of a bug. But uh, that is the rusty door. That is absolutely perfect. So what we're going to do, like we do at the end of every episode, is we're going to collect our 50 monies there as well. Not a whole lot in loot uh, for this episode, but those are two very, very cool things that you can do a lot of really, really cool stuff with. But uh, that is going to be it for this one, guys. Let me know in the comments below if there's uh, any other way that you can use these, uh, you know, special doors in MC Eternal or in any of the other. Other, uh, mod packs that uh, you know you have that uh, malaise doors uh, mod it is it is really really cool I really really like it but if you enjoyed this video please think about leaving a like and a subscribe uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf also check out the description below there will be a link to my discord page I would love it if you guys stop by to say hi as well there'll be a link to my patreon page if you enjoy this channel if you enjoy this content and you want to support stop by check it out there are a lot of great perks out there for all of my supporters but that is it i'll see you guys next time goodbye